Rene Daquil. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get him out. For the main event of the evening, it is scheduled for 12 triple rounds of professional championship super flyweight boxing action. It is for the OPBF and WBO Oceania super flyweight titles. It is sponsored by PPTEU and Grupo Alessi. Your judges are Ripside, Andrew Campbell, Lynn Kennedy, and Brent Martin. And when the bell rings, the referee in charge is Ignatius Miscellanies. And now, ladies and gentlemen, for all the people who gather here tonight, the sold out St. Kilda Town Hall, for all the people who will be watching this broadcast around the world, ladies and gentlemen, would somebody somewhere make some noise? Introducing first, making his way to the blue corner, the challenger. This is Number six in the WBA, number 10 in the IBF. Dak Well, number five in the IBF, and number 11 in the WBC. A victory here sets up some big international fights in a glamorous division, the Super Flyweight Division. Andrew Maloney it is in the white with gold, and Dak Well in the black with red. He's got an impressive record, does Dak Well? He's never been stopped, and he's on a bit of a winning streak as well. His last three, he's won all of them in Japan. It's no easy feat going over there and doing that, that is for sure. He's never been stopped, though, from his 20 victories, just six stoppage victories, Dakwell. So he's more a boxer than a puncher, but he does load up on the right hand there that whizzes past Maloney. He's got a super impressive record, Maloney. 15 from 15 with 10 stoppages. And he's got a bit to live up to here as well because we saw that incredible performance earlier from his brother, Jason Maloney. He won himself a Commonwealth title in that bout at bantamweight. 
Andrew, he already has one. But the belt's on the line here. Uh, regional. And it's all about rankings and getting into those big fights. And it's been a pretty solid start from Dakwell here. Maloney getting back on his jab. But very even, as many expect this to be early in this fight. Looking for the uppercut with the right hand is Dakwell. Now throwing that right hand over the top. That one skids into the top of the head. Hooks the right hand around and gets towards the ear of Andrew Maloney, who steps in and throws his own one-two and puts a bit on the right hand as well. Loads up, does Dakwell. He's looking pretty good too in the early stages of this fight. Maloney very relaxed as always. And just watching through this first round. Doubles up the jab and Dakwell fires recklessly with that big right hand and it goes way over the top. The crowd give him an ironic cheer. He tries to get in a bit tighter as Maloney and just takes a little right hand in tight for his troubles. Now gets back on that jab and stays at the distance. And there is that big uppercut that Dakwell's looking for. Throws a handy little right hand over the top and so does Maloney. And they both miss with big shots of their own. Pretty watchful first round from Andrew Maloney. Dakwell probably doing a little bit more work, but it's one the judges could find either way. Certainly more output from Dakwell. But Maloney had a slicker jab. And gee, there's some good fights in this division. The WBA title is currently held by Cal Yafai. And that's a man that Andrew Maloney has called out previously. That'd be a big fight in the UK. Probably the star of the Superfly division at the moment is Srisa Ketsor Rung Vasai, the Thai boxer who beat Chocolatito Gonzalez twice last year. And a man we've had the pleasure of seeing on Australian shores on the Jeff Horn Manny Pacquiao undercard is Jerwin Ancarhas, the Filipino who is a superstar and the IBF champion at the moment. Naoya Inui, a Japanese wrecking ball who also goes by the name The Monster. He's planning on heading up in weight and likely to vacate his WBO title belt in the super flyweight division. These two gentlemen though, they're angling towards any one of those belts. But a victory here is hugely important. And it was an even opening around between Maloney and Dakwell. And it's been even again through the early stages of round number two. Loading up though is the Filipino. Not a lot of accuracy, but certainly plenty of intent. He's loading up on some of these shots and they're whizzing by Andrew Maloney, who continues to be quite watchful. And he needs to look out for that uppercut, which Dakwell is hunting for with the right hand and then just found one with the left hand as well. Not a heap of body work as yet from Maloney. Just content to jab and try and find his rhythm. And there's a good body shot from Dequel. And he's not overawed by the trip, the Filipino. And you can tell by his record, he doesn't mind traveling. As I said, he's won his last three bouts that have all been in Japan. And that is a tough trip. So he's fine being the visitor. And he's showing here that he's OK coming down under as an underdog and an outsider. He's boxing pretty well. And again, looking for that uppercut. Maloney jabbing away. Just struggling to find his range at this stage. Dakwell just a little bit more wild. 
clubs to the head of Maloney. Good shot over the top from Andrew. He wore a couple as well, but it was a good little moment for him there. Dakwell salutes at the end of round number two, and he's boxing very well as the visitor. There's that uppercut, which has been the punch for Rene Dakwell thus far. He clubs over the top with the right hand as well. Two from Andrew Maloney that we saw. And a couple more of those uppercuts. Plays down the law. Gives his advice. And let's see what changes we see perhaps from Andrew Maloney here in round number three, the OPBF and WBA Oceana super flyweight titles are up for grabs here. A little more movement from Maloney early in this third round. He's up on his toes and moving side to side, in and out. Reaches out with the right hand to the body, does that quell, and Maloney just whizzes one past in tight. Loads up, misses, does Maloney. The uppercut goes by, and there's a good body shot from Maloney, and a nice right hand over the top. Good moments for Andrew Maloney here in round number three. Good jab, too. From Maloney, he's starting to find his range now. He's got his rhythm. And this is good from Andrew Maloney. A bit more movement. And suddenly, Dakwell is not able to get these shots off. And there's a good body shot again from Andrew Maloney in a big third round. Over the top as well. And Dakwell now just struggling with his own range and they exchange and dangerous shots whiz by both boxes. To the body goes Maloney, to the body goes Dakwell, over the top Dakwell. Just ducks underneath a couple there, does the Filipino. And a much more energetic Andrew Maloney here in round number three. A lot more movement. There's that right uppercut, though, which is the punch for Dakwell so far. There's a good right hand over the top from Maloney. Just put it out there by itself, and it was a good one. There it is again. The right hand of Maloney produces a significant welt under the left eye of Rene Dakwell. And he's having a really good round number three, is the Australian. Needs to look out for that uppercut, though. Lunges in. Again, the Filipino. Maloney, though, measuring nicely with the jab. And he'll look for that right hand again. And he's not seeing it coming. Dakwell, the right hand, when it comes out by itself. You look for it again, Andrew. No, he hooks. No damage. And right to the body. There's the uppercut to finish the round. And that was a much better round from Andrew Maloney. Round number three is a clear one for the Australian. You could make a case for Dakwell in one. You'd lean towards him in two. But three goes firmly into the book of Andrew Maloney. Jason Maloney capturing the Commonwealth title at Bantamweight with a destruction of Namibian Emmanuel Nigella. Just a fantastic performance from Jason. And now he gets to sit back and watch his twin brother in action.
who's starting to find his way in this fight. A 12-rounder against the very tough and very accomplished Filipino Rene Dakwell. Back on the jab is Maloney. Right hand over the top, but then there was something on that left hand of the body. He'll look for this right hand again because he's having some success at range, but it is Daquell that gets off first. There it is. A nice right hand from Maloney. Times it well. No damage done, but he's targeting that spot. The left cheek of Daquell. It's taking some big shots. There it is again. Just measures in tight with the jab and then sits down and throws that big right hand as Andrew. Jabs through nicely too. Goes to work does Andrew Maloney, but Daquell punches back off the ropes. Moves his way back to centre ring and works on that jab and the jab of Maloney gets through. Then he goes downstairs. Moves away and he bounces again and the energy coming through. And he's complained that quell of an elbow. And he just stopped fighting. Andrew was happy to continue. And it took our referee Ignatius Missalides to put a stop to anything too untidy there. But an interesting little moment there where he does complain and stop fighting Dakwell. So maybe some of these right hands and this change in pace over the last round and a half is starting to affect his rhythm. And he ducks out of the way, but the right hand again looks ominous. And Dakwell finds his way stumbling towards that red corner. Maloney throwing some nice shots. And, well, Dakwell, he's felt a few of these. Very different body language here in round four from Dakwell. He's adjusting the trunks. He's breathing deeply and Maloney is just getting to work. Let's see what's left for Andrew Maloney to finish off the round. A nice body shot with the left hand. He gets one back. Well, that's good work from Andrew Maloney again. Some good moments towards the back end of that round. And that was all well, the incident. Not too much in it, but Dakwell didn't like it or he was just not real happy with the pressure that was coming his way. An elbow he claims, but you did sense a bit of a change in body language from the Philippines. During that round, and you have to think that's a result of some of those right hands that have been finding their way through to the left side of his face. And Second the pace is being five. stepped up by Andrew Maloney as we head into round number five. Round five. Thanks for joining us here at the St Kilda Town Hall. You're watching. The Commonwealth champion, Andrew Maloney, fighting for a pair of regional belts here against the very tough Filipino, Rene Dakwell. He's world ranked, he's never been stopped. But as I mentioned at the top, just six KOs for Dakwell in his 20 victories thus far. So he seems to have a bit of power, but not the type that stops boxes at this weight. Andrew, though, he stops them very regularly. And he gets back to work as Dakwell gets back to work on adjusting those trunks and breathing deeply and stepping out of the way. And you just get the sense that it's starting to really turn in the favour of Andrew Maloney, who reaches out with the right hand to the body there. 
and is stepping up this pace and seeing if Dakwell can go with him. Good little left hand there from the Filipino, but Maloney gets around the back of him and he's found flat-footed. Worked the right hand into it nicely off the back of the jab there did Maloney, but Dakwell was just backing out and there's a good jab as he looked for that uppercut again and you get the sense that will be the punch that he will default to, Rene Dakwell. That big right hand uppercut as the pressure turns on. And that's what he's doing, Maloney. He's upping the ante here in his corner, the red corner. Goes to the body again and this is the exact position in the ring where Jason Maloney managed to break his opponent down with body shots from the left hand. They exchange and there's a couple to the head that get through cleanly from Andrew. That one may have been a bit low, but it's allowed to go and there's no reaction and he goes downstairs again with the left hand. And he steps back Deckwell and throws a nice one-two of his own. Just ducks back out of the way of that right hand and looks for his uppercut again. There's Dakwell. Maloney with his one-two. They exchange jabs and it's Dakwell that gets through best. Good right hands. Maloney. He just had his opponent coming towards him. Took some of the sting out of the shot. between these two. Okay, so there you go. Live scoring. And two of the judges have Maloney ahead. One has it a draw. One of the judges has given Andrew Maloney every round thus far. So under live scoring, he does lead the way, Andrew Maloney. And, well, you do get the sense that he's starting to get on top. The last couple of rounds have been really strong from Andrew. Seconds out for round and six. repeating that live scoring tells us that two of the three judges round have him ahead. Six. One has it a draw, and that was at the end of four rounds. This, though, is action at the start of round number six. Looks for that right hand over the top, there's Dakwell, but there wasn't too much on it. There's not much sting in some of these shots that he's throwing back now. Maloney jabs away. And he'll look to bring that right hand in. He's not probably showing us the usual range of punches that he does, but what he is doing is punching very straight and punching well. And when he has looked to the body, he scored well as well, Andrew Maloney. There's the right hand, which has been his shot throughout. Just a straight right hand, and he's having plenty of success with it. They wrestle at centre ring. Maloney with head movement and fires the right to the body now off the back of some jabs. Wild right hand over the top from Dakwell, who now backs away and heads back into that red corner. Let's see if he can work the body here. Andrew Maloney. Dakwell throws a nice shot with his left hand to the body. That's on the belt line from Maloney. Short right hand in tight was nice and there is that left hand again to the body and a nice right hand over the top. Just 
Gets into the shoulder there of Dakwell. Uses his feet to create some space, but the shot off the back missed. He's putting plenty on those right hands. Dakwell just getting underneath them. But he doesn't want to sit on the ropes. That's exactly where Andrew Maloney wants him, though. He shoves him back into position. Gets back to work, and Dakwell, he's trying to work his way back into some open space, but there's a right hand off the back of the jab that Dakwell did not like one bit, and he's just starting to feel the pace here in round number six. Nice left hand to the body, and these are wild shots that are coming back now from Dakwell. The end of this round could not come soon enough for the Filipino. Really good round there from Andrew Maloney. And again, he worked his way into the round and then started to have his own way in the latter stages. These are some highlights from round number six. And yeah, that was the one that I mentioned that was on or around the belt line. And what has been noticeable is that the punches coming back from Dakwell don't have the sort of intent that they did in the early stages of this fight. He's tough, no doubt. But in the face of some of this pressure, he's starting to so Round number seven here between Maloney and Dak Welp. And starts the same way as he has in most of these rounds. Andrew Maloney just working that jab and bringing the right hand through when he can. There it is. Boxing nice and straight through generally the first 90 seconds of these rounds before things slow down and he goes right to work. On, and that was an example of what I've been mentioning, that Renee Dakwell not throwing with the same sort of power we saw early on. And without that sort of resistance or that sort of issue to worry about, Andrew Maloney, he can start to really dictate, start to get his own shots off because he's not too worried about what's coming back. Just hangs on to the left hand there of Dakwell. Gets out of the way of those without too much trouble at all, does Andrew Maloney. There's that right hand, a good one too. It'll have to be a big shot though to put this man down. He's never been stopped, as I mentioned. And while he's certainly being impacted by these right hands to that left side of his face, none of them have really rocked him or seen him destined for the canvas. Let's see if Andrew can wear him down. So it's certainly looking to go that way at this stage, and he gets on his bike. Does Dakwell trying to get out of trouble off the ropes and away? And these are not great signs for the Filipino corner. He's really running out of answers here against Andrew Maloney, and you can see it in his face. He started so strongly, but Maloney is just relentless. And now he shoves him back into that blue corner and goes to work. Dakwell just trying to stick that jab out and keep him at bay, but it's not enough. Maloney works off his shoulder, tries to create the space and wears an uppercut for his troubles. Exchange there, and the uppercut is what Dakwell continues to look for. And another 
really strong rounds and this is world-class boxing at super flyweight we're seeing in particular from Andrew Maloney here at the St Kilda Town Hall nothing too spectacular in what he's doing but gee it's effective Okay, so round number eight between Maloney and right. Dequell. The OPBF Super Flyweight title and the WBA Oceana Super Flyweight title. That's what they're contesting. And positions in the world rankings because both of these gentlemen are ranked highly and this victory if he were to get it would do wonders for the IBF ranking in particular of Andrew Maloney who's already well regarded by the WBA and it also you'd think get him into the WBC rankings so lots of avenues and well some very exciting fights in all of those divisions for whoever can get through to them that's what they want too Team Maloney. I want both of these gentlemen in those big fights before the end of this year. Looking good so far, too, here at the St Kilda Town Hall for Andrew Maloney. Dakwell puts everything into a right hand to the body there, but Maloney just presses on and he looks to that body again. Dakwell. Jabbing well is Andrew Maloney. And Taquell again reaches and does find the left side of Andrew Maloney's body. It's three times in this round he's managed to get that shot through, but not too much on them. He chops down over the top, does Dakwell. And that time Maloney did not get his right hand off. Just changes it up there, goes to the body with the straight right. Dakwell put the hands up to protect his face and wall one to the midsection. Nice left hand to the body there from Maloney again. And a bit more body work coming through now. And this is the stage of the previous few rounds where Rene Dacquel has looked for a bit of a rest and Andrew Maloney has not given it to him and he started to really take control of the round. So let's see what he does. They trade. Big shots to the body that wear mainly arms and he looked for that right hand, Maloney. Not much on those from Dacquel and... out of round number eight without too much damage done there does Dakwell but round number. round number nine here between Maloney and Dakwell and we'll await some updated open scoring a reminder that at the end of four, two of the judges had Maloney ahead. One had it a draw. One of the judges, in fact, had given Maloney all four rounds after the first four. So we should have an update shortly at the end of eight. Good right hand. It was a good right hand from Maloney over the top, but the warning was on the use of the forearm and he has been dropping his shoulder and occasionally using the forearm as well to give himself that space 
because they've been in tight. And he wants the range for the right hand. Tempted again, there he was, Maloney. Good right hand gets through two. And they're tied. Shots coming back from Dakwell now. And he steps up the pace again. Andrew Maloney. Dakwell took a few steps back. He wanted a breather, but Andrew Maloney forces the pace. Uses that forearm again and doesn't get the right hand off the back of it, so there's no warning. Tied shot over the top, Dakwell. Great shot to the body from Maloney. Nice straight right to the body too, and that may have hurt Dakwell, that right hand to the body. He's camping in his own corner at the moment. And Andrew Maloney, he has bad intentions at this point. He can see some success from these body shots and he just caught him with a little right hand when Dakwell was off balance. Some good work from both men on the inside. And he looks for that uppercut again, does Dakwell. There's the right hand as he steps away, Maloney. Nice uppercut, Dakwell. Truly ahead now on all three scorecards is Andrew Maloney. That's the scoring at the end of round number eight. And what it means is that Rene Dakwell either needs a knockout or he needs an awful lot of knockdowns. And the way things are going, he is not going to be getting them. Andrew Maloney can just continue to do what he's doing. Cruise the victory if you would like, because the power just is not there from his opponent. Perhaps it was in rounds one and two, but since then, the pace and the composure of Andrew Maloney have well and truly taken the wins out of the sails of Rene Dakwell. In saying that, the uppercut, it's his favourite shot, Dakwell, and he throws it early with some success too. Does he continue along these lines? Does he cruise to a points victory, Andrew Maloney? Or does he want to make a statement, become the first man to stop Renee Dakwell? You'd at least want to see him on the canvas at some point. Just moves and moves and moves again. Finds his spot, throws his jab. He's looking for something here is Andrew Maloney. The output is not there. He's trying to set something up. Let's see what he's got in mind for Rene Dakwell. Maybe that was it. He was looking for that overhand right, but... Dakwell saw it and moved accordingly. And ditto the other way. Maloney just slowing things down here. Trying to change up the pace. Maybe he's trying to bring some shots out of Dakwell and Get that right hand on the counter. 
Attack well. <laughs> Just covered up and tried to buy himself a little bit of a break. Good shots, Maloney again. Tackwell comes forward. Nothing on them. And Maloney full of energy, full of running. Good little right hand inside and that good left hand to the body from Maloney in those exchanges. And if he is, oh, that's a massive uppercut that nearly touched the roof here at the St Kilda Town Hall. Good shots, Maloney. I was saying if he is to find his man down, you get the impression it's going to be a big shot to the body. What a right hand that gets right onto that significant piece of swelling on the left side of Dakwell's face. Very different reactions from these two fighters as they hit the corners. Dakwell, he's standing up between rounds now. He's taking some shots to the body. And they're starting to take their toll. Andrew Maloney, though, he looks as fresh as you like. He's had some success with that straight right hand, not only over the top, but also to the body. And the tough Rene Dakwell has six minutes if he's to turn this around. You just can't see it. But stranger things have happened. So far, it's been a pretty complete performance from Andrew Maloney. He wants the world, and a performance like this puts him in a good position to go and get it. Takes a couple of shots, though. And Dakwell gets the work, opens up, throws a bunch of uppercuts. What will that do to the pattern of this fight? Bit of confidence from Dakwell, punching harder. Having some success with that uppercut too. But when he throws it, he leaves himself very, very open. How does Andrew respond? Chases him. Throws that right hand and misses. Where's the uppercut now for Dakwell? Right hand over the top and a couple of nice little left hooks as well. Better work here in round 11 from the Filipino. Can he keep it up though? It's a tight uppercut there. And he saw it a mile off. Did Maloney. Steps around, finds the left hand to the body. Does Andrew Maloney. Tries it again, but Dakwell too far away. And it's pretty tired work now from Dakwell, who started this round so well. Had his chance there with the right hand, did Maloney. Left himself wide open, Dakwell. And he's pretty flat-footed, too, at centering. He's looking for the uppercut. There it is. There's the right hand from Maloney, too. Nice uppercut again, Dakwell. Can he time one of these right hands as a counter to the uppercut? Andrew Maloney. Lunges to the body, Dakwell. Big right hand, Maloney. 
to finish the round. So, when they return here for round number 12, Rene Daquel from the Philippines will need a knockout. Andrew Maloney, firmly in control. And he's boxed beautifully here at the St Kilda Town Hall. Good action at the start of that round from Daquel. The uppercut, which looks so promising through rounds one and two, came back in 11. But he'll need a massive uppercut. If he's to snatch this. Second in round round number 12. gloves to start the final round and what does it hold for us well uppercuts from Zach well I'm tipping can Maloney time a right hand on the counter or something spectacular perhaps from Zach well the snatch an unlikely final round victory can't see it but He's going to have to throw caution to the winds, and that's going to open things up here in round 12. Steps back, and Maloney picks him off with the jab. Maloney just cruising through the early stages of this final round. Good jabs, good movement, staying out of the way of the uppercut. There it is again, but he's not there to be found. Just back on his jab is Andrew Maloney. Well, lunges, Maloney just moves. Getting good encouragement from a big crowd in here too to see both of these Maloney's. They'd love to see something big from him late. Gets a big cheer for that left hand that gets through. Dakwell throwing tied shots. Maloney's looking for something. Jabs away, keeps moving, and he's happy just to stay out of the way of those uppercuts. And he's going to cruise to victory is the unbeaten Australian, Andrew Maloney. He's going to rise up the world rankings. And in a super fly division, he's put on another super fly performance. Andrew Maloney turns down the drink from his opponent's corner. But he'll get one back in his own. And this will be a points victory to Andrew Maloney. And he'll take a couple of regional belts with him to go with his Commonwealth title. And after 16 professional bouts, he remains undefeated. First couple of rounds were really impressive from Zach Well, but that means that it was an even more impressive performance from Andrew Maloney because he had to adjust. He did exactly that. And he's cantered away with victory. Late in the fight, 
He didn't try and look for anything too massive. Was happy just to run away with the victory. And he'll move on to bigger and better things. And that team around him, they have big plans. It's a glamorous division, super flyweight. And he is right in the mix. He's Magnificent performance from the monster, Andrew Maloney. And he's won that by a good space against the very tough Renee Dackwell. A boxing clinic is what he put on.